Hello everyone and welcome to Miko's Corner. Today we are recording a video. Uh, it's one of my old favorite games called Jack of All Tribes. And I don't remember if it has music or if it's really any good. So we'll, we'll play that by ear once we get into the game. I also need to mess the settings real briefly. Let me adjust... Alright. Unhelpful. Alright, I'll just move OBS to the top screen. Alright, sorry about that. Always a little bit of a uh, technical snafu, as we've noticed throughout this whole thing, because I'm not that fabulous. Alright, so it's a good um, time management game. Uh, today we will be... Nico Nico. So we can start afresh. Hi, my name is Jack, and I think I just got my lucky ticket. An unforgettable adventure, plunge into the primal world. That's all I know about the ride. The light at the end of the tunnel grew until it filled up my vision. Suddenly, I was blinded by a strong flash. How do you know it was strong? Was it bright? <laughs> Ooh, who are these people? The animation was pretty good for when it came out. Plunge into the primal world. I had no idea that it would be so literal. Hey, does anyone know what's going on here? The legend says that one day a stranger will come to these lands, bringing peace and calm with him. What legend are you talking about? One night, a great shaman, the sovereign of time and the four elements, came to our village. It was the season of tropical storms. The shaman was in a great hurry and wanted to talk to my father. I was a small kid at the time, but I remember it well. Legends, shamans, crazy savages, the whole thing really sounds weird. What do I do with all this now? Well, first, let's gather some wood. Uh, some, sorry, food. We're gathering food. Click on that ripe, juicy bush. Let's wait until the villager picks the berries. Click on the food to pick it up. Good job! Always remember to have some food in store to feed your villagers on time. And now let's build a hut. Oh, it seems you don't have enough wood to get down to work. These piles of wood will come in handy. Click them to pick them up. Great, now you have enough wood to build a new hut. Look, these are perfect lots for new huts. Click here to start building. So this game was released in on June 9th, 2011, according to this one website. So we're talking like the year I... I'm... <laughs> this is a while ago. See that pile of gold? Click on it to pick it up. It's a tribute from the occupants of the hut. The bigger the hut, the more tribu tribute you will get. So basically our job in this game is to collect food, wood, gold upgrade huts 
and feed our villagers, and a couple other things pop up as well. Time for dinner. This villager looks hungry. I always hate tutorials when I'm going back and replaying a game. Now try to build one more hut on your own. But it's, yeah, it's a time management game. And, uh, I, I can get pretty quick and good at it. And there's, there's a fair amount of levels, too. It's really well done. And if you do it in a certain amount of time, if you meet all the criteria, you'll be able to get, um... You know, uh, this this flag. The flags are different. So this is this means that you haven't started yet. There's a uh, flag if you only get two stars, and then there's a flag if you only get three stars. But like, look how wide this map is. It's very impressive. So you can either click on the flag or you can click play. It's so beautiful here. Let's take a break, and I'll show you how to upgrade huts. Here are the goals of this level: 400 food and a hut. First you build the hut and start gathering food. I'm actually gonna split them up. Because when she's done grabbing the food, if the hut's not done, she'll run over and start building. I don't know if I like the music though. Oops. Yeah, that's the thing. You need someone to um, collect it as well. But the good thing about building more huts is that more villagers will come so it's much easier to split up the work better if that made any sense they're all hungry we'll need more wood remember that your villagers can chop down trees click on the tree it will cost you a hundred gold Why not use a buzz saw, I wonder? A buzz what? Now we can upgrade this. Wait while the villager works on it. So generally when I play a level, the first thing I do is start building huts and gathering wood. And then usually I can gather uh, food as well in some capacity. Level score, 820. It's your reputation among the locals. One day there'll be songs composed about you. So right now we're at a stranger. Or we are a stranger, I guess would be the better phrase. Berry bushes are not enough to feed the whole village. Today I'll show you how to plant pumpkins. Shh! Hear that whisper? It's the god of fertility talking to us. The seeds of love will bring us a rich harvest for sure. Ote. Pumpkin porridge for breakfast? Yummy. Oh yes, and about that god, I think you'd better not eat any unknown berries anymore. Oh, they said okay. That's funny. You also get money at certain increments as well. Click on the pumpkin patch, yep. Yeah. You can also drag a villager to the thing that you want them to do. If it's quicker. Don't forget your level goals. Complete your goals before time runs out to get the golden star. Oh yeah. It seems we have a guest. How can I help you? Sorry, I'm 
trying not to skip through. <laughs> this farmer looks very anxious. Click here to find out what's wrong. Greetings, neighbors. I'm Mumbler of the Google Eye Tribe. Please hear me out, honorable chief. The northern gods have turned the sea winds backwards. Winter will be an early guest this time. Also, why did they name the guy that just dropped in and doesn't know anything about their world a chief? Please help the go- go- sorry, they're goggle eyes, not google eyes, Jesus. Ah, uh, please help the goggle eyes prepare for the cold days ahead. Our elders will reward you generously. Poor goggle eyes, we can't leave them in trouble, can we? Let's store some food for our friends and help them prepare their huts for winter. There. I like to clear out behind the hut sometimes so I don't like miss anything. It gets harder once they're up to see where the wood pile has gone. <laughs> Grab that, thank you. You want a trophy? You've cut down five trees. Oops, my bad. We don't have food. You guys come over there. That's right, there's supposed to be two stars anyway, does that make sense? I'm just in the habit of updating or upgrading things when I can. But sometimes it's more important to just gather food or what have you. Uh, I collected a thousand food. There might be one more goal after we do this though. We found the shoes. Run speed plus 15. Okay. It's done! So now we have time bonus on there as well, which would mean if we get the star or not. Which means we get this colored flag. My sneakers! How did this mumbler get it? The villagers can run much faster now. Because they all share one pair of sneakers. Alright, on to the next. What's going on here? The hut is on fire! Quick, call 911! We have to put out the fire ASAP! So you click on it and they all run over with water buckets! Sweet. And then we can help him out. I think he's a shaman. The fruit gods will never forget your kindness, young chief! I am the elder of this village. Well, getting old is no fun. What did you forget to turn off the iron? The savages from the Thickheads tribe came to steal our coconuts again. I tried hitting one of them with my staff, but he laughed at me and set my hut on fire. Brilliant. You're a real kung fu master. The coconut night is getting closer, young chief. As a sign of gratitude, we invite you to our holiday. Sounds like a great honor. Coconut Night is famous throughout the land. Let's invite all the villagers to join us. Um, three rich huts. Click on the old man. Okay. Don't want to run out of wood or food, so I'm starting with this, but then I'll do this hut right here. Grab that, grab that. And you can eat, and you can start that. Oh, they're both eating. <laughs> Go figure. Alright, I'm gonna 
be able to pivot right to that. Yeah, these, these huts only bring one new villager in. And this piles up. Okay. Let's build a cocktail bar to get a uh, bar to get the party started. I can five. That's okay. Hey, come back here. Someone grab this. Thank you. And then they'll switch out the uh, builders as well. Yeah, there's just something about this game that I like a lot. Oh, we got a couple more people. These guys wouldn't mind having a cocktail. Click on the cocktail bar. Let me get some money for that. Oh, sorry. I skipped through it. Probably just giving us our updated goals. I'm sorry. We need to keep upgrading the huts. Oh my gosh, so many people want to drink right now. Wow. And also, after they eat and after they've had a drink, they're a little bit faster as well because they're, um, happy. You can see the smiley faces over here. So it's usually a good thing to, to treat the villagers right. Alright, what's next? The party is about to start. Let's dance and have fun till dawn. Praising our fruit gods. Oh my god. <laughs> Part of the reason I skip through the dialogue sometimes is because of the time bonus. It doesn't freeze all the time. Or I'm worried that it doesn't freeze. Your rank has changed. We are an adventurer. And we have our thing here and it just tells us our information. The beauty of this rainbow leaves me speechless. You know, I could watch Rainbow all day. He's talking about her, because her name is Rainbow. It seems you're always full of surprises. The weather has changed for the better. Let me tell you how to decorate a village. Click on the flower bed to plant it next to the hut. Perfect, now plant this wonderful bush yourself. Awesome, see that smiling icon in the corner of the hut? The more decorations you have, the happier your villages will villagers will be. The elders kept watching a big iron bird going around in circles in the sky. What could it be? I don't know what she said. I was trying to do a thing and I was going to read it and then click. Make a bolt. Oh yeah, I forgot about that. Oh. If you don't get the fire quickly enough, it'll burn down and you have to rebuild it. It's very annoying. The iron bird has just come back to the swamp, chief. It's time to start the hunt. Click here to surround the den of the enemy. I'm not ready. I want to collect things. Okay, fine. Great job. The monster is defeated. It's time to collect the rewards. It's a... It's a... Yeah, it's one of these guys. Let's collect the items to eliminate the anomaly. Ah, gotcha. Yeah, I know how to play. Leave me alone. Okay. 
Oh, and you gotta make sure to collect these coins as well. There's multiple, I would say at least four in each level. Three, four. There might be another, but I'm not sure. Excellent, you found the fire extinguisher. We're quicker at putting fires out. Can you move? I needed to grab that chocolate bar and the cheese. Collecting points plus 15%. I'm not sure what that means. And the headphones. Win a trophy! Ten bar wishes! Yay! Oh, we are desperately out of food right now. Holy crap. I'm just trying to get these trees down before the bird comes back. Usually you have two different scavenger hunts. Here comes the Iron Devil again. There are more trophies in store for you. Need a certain amount of coin though. Which usually means bar or upgrading. The huts. Oh, I'm lacking 60. Not cool. You get a certain amount after, yeah, 50 a day. There we go. Alright. I don't think the coins do, uh, like, appear on the second part. Second time it, it comes around. Sunglasses. Villagers speed up after eating. Thought they already did that. Guess not. So I'm trying to get into recording a little bit more. Um, I mentioned this on a couple other videos as well that I haven't probably released yet or a couple streams I've done. But um, the reason I haven't uploaded any of these or like Pokemon card openings is I want to get a backlog before I do that. So I can take a break when I need to or want to. Alright, we still got the time bonus, huzzah. But I'm going to try to keep these around 30 to 45 minutes, I think. Um, obviously if you guys have recommendations for short games or very casual games like this, let me know and I'll um, see if I have them or can get them easily enough and take a look. I have. Both shelter games on my list. I've played one of them through and I didn't do a great job, so I would love to redo it, and I haven't done the second one. And I know I need to finish Hacknet. I might do that in recording versus streaming. Uh, but yeah. So uh, let, me let me know down below if you want to see more of this, or I was thinking of more Hoyle games. I've had some... Uh, some interaction on those old videos recently, so I could go back and play some more of them. See if I can learn how to count my own points in cribbage. <laughs> it's unusually quiet here. Right, right you are. You have the eye of an eagle for such things, chief. Look here, an abandoned forester's hut. We need to repair it. Another thing I was thinking of, and I, I, I did do one, the first video that'll probably come out is a uh, Reading fun stories. Forester Hut produces 15 wood from a worker each day. Sweet. Thank you. Now I need to make another. 
because you lose a person to the hut. There's a food one as well you'll find later, a pig farm, I think. Um, the first one that will come out, probably, will be um, reading some interesting articles and looking at some uh, fictional couples' uh, children. Things like that, you know? Actually, let's go drink first, guys. Sorry. Um, but the other thing I was thinking of in a similar vein is doing tier lists, or am I the a-hole uh, readings. Hello. Hey, strangers up here. I'm Mamba, son of Lumamba, of the Hairy Punch Punches tribe. We must have enraged the master of the mountain. Our huts are buried under heaps of stone. Bad luck. Let's help Mamba clear up this mess and save the hairy paunches. Yep. I need to cut down more trees. The goal is to get up here, by the way. Ah, uh, frick what she'd say. I hate that they put a time limit on you and then they chat with you. It makes it so much of a pain. That's right, we need coin to remove the obstacle. Hurry up, calm down. We're doing okay on food right now. Our wood is not doing great, to be perfectly honest. Oh no! <laughs> the wood place is... The woodcutter's hut has burned down. <laughs> you built ten decorations, thank you. I'm working on it, bro. Disturbing rumors were afloat. A strange animal has settled down in the cave where we pick mushrooms. We must try to avoid the place now. You are the only one who can save us, Great Chief. Explore the cave and bring peace to the Harry Ponches tribe. That's right. Hello? I told you to eat earlier. 3,000. Oh my gosh. Those ones are done. Those ones are done. There's just one person up there. Hey, it's a giant egg. Let's take it. You have found the egg. Mysterious egg. I almost forgot. Just before landfall, we saw a mysterious shining on the mountaintop. Up here? But I have no warm clothes. Am I supposed to wear these stinky skins? Pumpkins don't grow well in rainy seasons. Let's build a pig farm instead. Oops. I did not mean for that to happen. Actually, I want one of you on there. Oh, we're doing baths this time, not cocktails. 
Pig farm produces as, as food, 25 food, there you go, from a worker each day. Achoo! Where did all this dust come from, I wonder? Our village had to take away heaps of stone to help the hairy paunches, so now they're all covered with dust from head to toe. Achoo! Then it's time to take a bath. Do you have any shampoo with you? Sorry, that one of those sneezes probably peaked the mic and I didn't notice it. So I apologize. I will... I think I'm going to have to edit this one anyways because I'm not sure if the audio is too loud for the game. So I will make sure that no one's ears get blown by my fake sneezes. The uh, population has reached eight villagers. Check on the forester's hut and add one more worker there. The more workers you have, the more resources you get. Yeah. The less people I have to work and put out fires like that one. Oops. You can also remove them from the... Besides... In a place like this, I can just use someone to cut down wood and get it quicker than waiting. Did I hear a rooster? What's my job? Everyone at two stars and bath wishes. Grab the villager with the left mouse. Oh, and they're having us do this. Drag him to the bath. Let me get away. Hope you didn't pause my game. Keeping them busy, though, does make them want to use the um, cocktail in the baths more, I've noticed. Sometimes. Oh, but it's both wishes, either cocktail or a bath. So it sucks when you're just sitting here waiting for them to want something. So we just need one more. Oh no, two more? Oh no, one more, yeah, yeah. Yay, thank you. Oh, but we need gold, too. Oh, that sucks. Which, at this point, we can only get from these guys. I forget how much we get. 200 for that one, 300 for this. So 600 just appeared. Fragrant soap, a soft towel, and warm water is all one needs. Except, hey, Rainbow, could you bring me a cocktail? I was worried we weren't going to make that one. I don't know if I'd make you guys watch me do a redo of, an, of a level, though. Your rank has changed. We are a leader now. Alright, I think I'll do one more level and then we'll call it a... Call it quits for this video. Holy coconuts! Fog, big hairy man came, grabbed, ran away. Don't know what to do. What are you talking about? I don't understand a thing. This tribe lives far away in the mountains. It seems they have already forgotten normal language. The chief of the tribe is saying that hairy people came out of the fog and stole their supplies. Sounds like a Stephen King novel. But I'm. Heavy fog! Heavy fog! It's a monster. Not a monster. It's a... Keep clicking on the enemy to stop them. See, these are the hairy fog people. If they get too close to a building, they'll burn it. Or it'll catch fire, rather. Kind people, you give me my sack and drive the hairy one away. Then our home. Your home. Take this gift from us. Thank you. Welcome in peace. How do you say it? Holy coconuts? You have found the saw. Building speed, plus 30. 
Plus 30% faster, they mean to say. Where do these nasty hairy guys come from? I bet I've already seen them somewhere. I'm afraid these are the thick heads again. We have to teach them a lesson. Oh, we've got one of those. I should do that too. Because at one point you run out of trees in most places. I apologize if you hear any of my mouse clicking during today's game. Oh, put it out! See, he could easily turn this one on fire if I let him get too far. Okay! They also get scared if they're too close to one of them, by the way. Here, watch. Let's see if I can get this one to be scared. Kicked five enemies. So she ran away from that, which is good. See, multitasking while they're also attacking us is quite fun. Do you guys remember... There was this, um, cooking simulator one. Oh, it seems the egg is hatching. It's a dinosaur? What a pretty baby. Let's build a den for it. It was like something Dash was the name of the dining game. Uh, she was, mo she was basically a waitress. And her job was to set people down based on their colors. Um, from now on, the baby dino will be your guardian. You won't have to click away your enemies anymore. Um, you set people down by color because they came in in different colored shirts or outfits. You take their order. You then pick up or you drop off the order to the counter. Um, and then you pick up their food, drop it off. Wait for them to leave, clean the food. Or, sorry, not food, sorry. Clean the, uh, table. Okay. They kind of sound like Mario when they say okay. Dang it. Oh, that's right. I was going to show you what it looks like for him to do it. Alright, so if we bring him over here... Just scares him off. No one really wants to fight a monster. Uh, not a monster, a dino. Guys! Come on, what are you doing in there? Burning incense? Yay! Did I meet the time limit? I forget. I wasn't paying attention. Alright. So that was level 8. So that's not bad. Um, I forget how many levels there are. Um, I could probably check in a different profile though. This one I've completed, and I've turned off the audio for it, so there are 32, no, 34, 39, what a weird number to end on, there are 39. So as you can see, there's just so many different levels in this. And like I said, we got up to about there. But yeah, it's a it's a fun game. I like it. And uh, maybe I'll play some more, especially on days that I'm uh, wanting to record. But yeah, uh, thank you guys so much for hanging out with me today. I hope you like this video and this game. I think you can still download it. Um, just, you know, look up Jack of All Tribes. And... Play it out, play it for yourself. Otherwise, maybe I'll play it some more in the future. Make sure to like this video, give it a thumbs up if you haven't already. Please subscribe to my channel, it is absolutely free to you. And I will see you next time. Bye!